Lots of stuff to do there. Okay, um, let's give the transposing kiln first to Ludleth. Hey! Fret not, fret not. My feet, for I am. Give transposing kiln. Oh, belike it is a transposing kiln in thy possession. Seen better days, but methinks it shall suffice. Now, bring to me a twisted soul. Transposition is the art of extracting and coalescing the essence of a soul. Methinks? In transposing a twisted soul, its true power transfer to thee. Thy purpose is to seek lords and slay them. What's to fear in a little transposition now? Right. Can we talk Knows some more? thou of our purpose. Five thrones will take five lords as kindling for the linking of the fire. The fast fading flame must be licked to preserve this world. A reenactment of yeah, the first linking also very of good, the fire. Uh, voice actor. So it is. I became a lord of Cinder. I may be but small. By the way, uh, the um, rotten or cursed rotten greatwood or whatever the name is it's actually an optional boss. You don't have to do that fight. So, uh, so th here we get uh, boss weapons. Um, we can turn in the pontiff's left eye recovers HP with success successive attacks. That would be a ring. For that, we need the soul of uh, Boreal Valley Vort or Vort's Great Hammer, um, which is a strength weapon, which is pretty good. Also, there's Astor's Spear that we uh, we would have to pay 1,000 soul. And, and the soul of the Rotten Greatwood. And we only have one soul of these bosses, so we can only get one unless we go into NG+. Or the Holy Slayer Greatsword. I think I will take this from the Rotten Greatwood. But there's also no point in keeping those uh, the boss souls. Um, you can just eat them and get get souls for it. But uh, it makes more sense to just turn them in. Um, I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, should we get Vort's Great Hammer and maybe try that out later? Or should we get Pontus Left Eye the uh, Ring? Um, I will read the inscription there. Bewitched Ring that Pontiff Sullivan bestowed upon his knights. Recovers HP with successive attacks. Knights who peer into the black orb are lured into battles of death, transformed into frenzied beasts. No wonder the pontiff only provides these rings to those dispatched to foreign lands. So, we hear uh, the first time of Pontiff Sullivan, and it seems that uh, Vord ha was given this ring, which may transform him into the frenzied beast we know him as. Uh, and there is Vord's Great Hammer, Great Hammer wielded by Vord, the Outrider Knight of the Boreal Valley. Weapon is imbued with frost and causes frostbite. Frost accumulates in the body, causing frostbite, which saps one's health, lowers absorption, and slows stamina recovery. Never seen to make use of the ring. I would be for the weapon. HP with attacks is pretty nice. At least it sounds good. Yeah, it's really not that much, though, to be fair. It sounds good, and it's a little bit can save you every now and then but it's not that much and we will get uh, much better rings along the way i think i will take the um great hammer now now do not be away over long so we can look at them let's i can not wield it in one hand but two-handed i could 
There it is. Look at that. These uh, kind of diagonal slashes are pretty nice. And then we have the Hollow Slayer Greatsword that looks like this. Looks pretty cool, I feel. Fairly fast. Some slashes there. Stab. Similar moveset, if not the same as the Claymore. Pretty uh, fast upward slices. Yeah, a little bit of a curl camera, yeah. There we go. So, those are the boss weapons. For now, I will stick with the Claymore. Maybe we'll switch to the Hollow Slayer Greatsword at some point. I don't know. We'll see. Most boss weapons are not super useful, to be fair. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? Give Umbral Ash. So we found these Mortician's Ashes. Gracious. Passing fine ash thou'st given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> so now she has a new inventory more embers as you can see here she also sells the grave key um, we will definitely need that and then what else is new I'm not sure if this is new so not much of uh, not the biggest upgrade here but a little bit a few new items ashen one um, do we have anything here? No, not really, at least. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. <laughs> I think I always uh, was more. Ah, you know, I'm a petty. Th well. Uh, inclined to take the proud. big heavy weapons. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? So he wants to go uh, on a thieving trip for us. Thank you. You will not be disappointed. Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. He will be gone for a little while. <laughs> Until we see him again. So we can check his inventory before if you want to buy something. That would be now the chance. And sell some stuff, I guess. But I don't really have anything to sell. Goodbye. I will leave for some time. So long for now. Do stay safe. I'll try to stay safe, Grey Rat. Thank you for your concern. Um, actually, we need 20,000 souls uh, in order to get the tower key that she sells. So I will uh, hold on to my souls right now. And uh, do we have an under under bone chart? No, not yet. Uh, buh, 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 and I will go to this bonfire. And now we go here uh, to where we can use the grave key that we just bought. Oh. Uh, huh, 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 huh. Let's switch this out. 
Oh, it's good to have some fire bombs. Fire bombs are really useful in these situations. Sometimes to just get out the uh, get the minions out of the way. Um. Oh. I pressed the button, but it didn't do anything. <laughs> that was a little awkward. Okay. Let's heal. That's fine, though. That's why we have the healing. Didn't waste any Astus here. And the Grave Key can use. Let's get rid of the rats so they don't attack us from behind or anything. Just that. And here is where we use the Grave Key. Never know, Koala. So, here we have Loincloth. Very sexy. Terrible one, Waste Cloth. The deprived only managed to rummage just enough cloth to protect their vital parts. And this is a, a statue of Valka. What we can do here is um, absolve our sins, which means that if we accidentally or intentionally attack a uh, an NPC, um, we can pay some souls so they are friendly to us again. That is basically what it is. Here are some... Uh, skeletons. I will uh, read about the Red Hilted Halberd in a second. Whoa! Where did the doggo come from? Oh, he fell down. See anything? Oh boy. There's a crystal lizard. And usually in these games, always be careful when you see a crystal lizard out in the open. It means a trap. Here we go. I wasn't sure how ex the trap exactly works, so that is why it got me anyway. Though I knew that there was a trap. Oh, I th thought I hit him. Okay. There we go. <sighs> okay, Titanite Shard. That is good for some upgrades soon. And now I can check out the Halberd. A lot of people really like the Halberd. Long hilted weapon mixing spear and axe. The red hilted Halberd is associated with clerics. Can be thrust like a spear or swept sideways like an axe, making a versatile weapon effective against multiple foes. Yeah. Can confirm. Hey, Marka, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. So you can also... can shoot this thing there. Let's quickly equip the bow just for that. Um, there we go. So that is why I um, leveled up to use the bow before I went here, because it's it's useful to have the bow here. Uh, this is just an upgraded uh, shield. Um, of a shield that we already have, so I won't read it. There are lots of rats here. Um, not sure if the amount of rats here is endless, but. Can do shenanigans like that. I'm good today. Got a. Uh, New gel nails, okay. Saint's talisman, so that just six of them, yeah. They can be awkward to fight. 
Because sometimes also the skeletons uh, follow you up to here and then it's it's a mess. So there's that. Um, we have the talisman. Where is it? There. Saint Salomon, medium for casting miracles of the god. Ivory talisman I give them only to women clerics and faith greatly affects their effectiveness. There's a certain frailty to this talisman which undermines the steadfastness granted by its skill. Unfaulted Skill unfolded prayer temporarily increases poise while casting miracles, yes. So how does it compare to what we have then? It is better in all regards. So and here we have another NPC. Oh, who is there? Is someone there? Anyone? Oh, please, whoever you are, touch me. The dark surrounds me, nibbles at my flesh. Little creatures, they never stop biting. So please, hold out your hand and touch me. Oh, yes, there you are. So close, indeed. Then I am not entirely alone just yet. Praise the merciful gods above. Prayer. Oh, forgive me. I am Irina of Karim. Okay. I came to this land so that I might. I'm doing be very well, Merka. Thank you for asking. Your touch has freed me from the darkness. You are a champion, then. Of course I am. I am weak and unfit to tend the flames. But if it would not trouble you, might I enter into your service instead? Oh, thank you, sweet champion. I shall take my vows. I, Irina of Karim, solemnly swear to serve you and she is the miracle trainer in the game and she's at filing shrine now here we have this guy hmm. another one of those unkindled are you all you faceless undead behaving as if you deserve respect now you've gone and rescued the wench. How very quaint. Pitying creatures that are beyond help. <laughs> very well. I'm sick of looking after her at any rate. I'm Egon. A knight of Karim. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. A little bit, yeah. For that Sanity. Long. Okay. What's the matter? My terms are very simple. I am allied to you for as long as you assure the girl's safety. And only for that long. <laughs> What's the matter? Okay. Can... So, he is basically the bodyguard for Irina. He's a fairly nice guy. Um. Oh, there's another one. Rude. Where's Wintermorn? Okay, let's drink. A bowl is coming, yeah. I took that bowl to the face. A very ballsy move. Okay, so soul item. The 
The these are tough to fight, though. I have to say. I struggled uh, with these, especially in my first playthrough as well, a lot. There we go. Some alluring skulls. I hate dogs in Souls games, so jump being annoying to hit. Exactly. That uh, is a good summary of them. Yeah, and they can also kind of stun lock you with multiple attacks and everything. Ugh. There is a an ember. Okay. And this is the tree up there where I cut down the ring. Usually it fa falls down here. That's where you then can pick it up. We can also from here see Lothric Castle, where we came from and then landed over there. And there you see some pyres. We will visit that later as well. Nice. Huh, seems familiar. It's the Onion Knight. A little bit of a lazy reference. Hmm. 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 Oh. Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I am Siegbert of Katarina. To be honest, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Have you ever walked near a white birch only to be struck by a great arrow? Mm-hmm, I have. Well, if I'm not mistaken, they come from this tower. Whoever it is, I'm sure I can talk some sense into them. But I have to find Think. a way up. And that's just the trouble. This lift only goes down, you see, and... Uh, no. Well, that doesn't get me anywhere. Hmm. 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 Well, it's a riddle. This lift oh hmm. What could happen there? How could we figure it out? An onion and a pickle. Maybe. Tight spot ahead. If I do this. No. Only goes until here. How can I solve this? Maybe if I do this. And now he's gone. Hmm. Guess I have to wait for the elevator again. Uh huh. Another elevator. Shocking. Hmm. So yeah, there. There is stage where we can get out <laughs> yeah I think the first time I did that I stumbled upon it accidentally because I um, needed to use the elevator twice or a second time and then and this is the guy who shot who the arrows are you? make I peace any time Young White Branch. I help any time. And we could talk some sense into him. So Secret was right. He now won't shoot the arrows. And when we go back there, we can loot this area in peace. And he gave us the Young White Branch. Branch of a white birch received from a giant, apparent, apparently as a token of friendship. Becomes uh, something that blends into the surroundings, consumed by use. Good friend, no hit. So yeah, uh, now uh, we can go back there and pick up all the items that I didn't pick up there. Uh, I know we'll do that soon. 
But first, I will visit Sweet Old Onion Bro. Hmm. Uh oh. Well, hmm, that happened. It can happen. Don't mock me. I tried to jump off the elevator at the right spot, didn't do it at the right spot, and Died. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, blah, 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 blah. We need another. Oops. That's a typical Dark Souls death. You're trying to be supporters. Sorry for ruining that. Come here. Come here, buddy. Who's a bad boy? Okay. He still shoots his uh, um, arrows, but not when you're there. Oof. Yeah, I, I think the most death is death is and Dark Souls are always falling off something. <laughs> Let's go back up. The safe route is to do it uh, when you go up. I'll do it this time. Don't have to do the run again, but first I need my souls back. There are quite a lot. But it actually uh, turns out pretty well since um, now I have more Estes for what's ahead. There you go. Hey. Mm. Look at this guy. Mm. Ah. Oh. Don't disappear like that. You had me downright worried. What do you mean disappear? But thanks to you, an epiphany has struck me square in the head. Tell me everything. I've unraveled the riddle of this inscrutable lift. <laughs> On wow. some days, I begin to doubt myself. I went up the tower, so I thought, then somehow ended up here. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Anyhow, do you see that? That humongous beast? I do. I'm no coward and I have a steady hand, but... That thing makes my skin crawl. Well, now, he was in other ones, but uh, like that he had a slightly different name. I could try talking some sense into him. No, I think not. He's far too overheated. I've got to use my head and think. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I could try to... Nope. Mm. Let's do it. So if we go down here... He will join us, I think. As soon as we engage in combat. Then we have a homeward bone. Hey! Dude, bro. Oh. And be careful with these guys. They are tough. Oh, boy. He's shooting some miracles, which I appreciate because I need to heal. I did do that well. Don't want him to die. No, I, you should have waited. But I also don't want to hurt him, so it's I too late to. now. I seek word of the Knights of Katarina. Fight by your side. Yeah, that is one option. I think it's just a pretty, pretty cheap reference. It's not very well done.
Oh, he's all fiery and shit. Yeah, there's no confirmation of that. It's more... Uh, it's more like a reference, I would say. Solid 20 damage, at least. Yes. And we got a fire gem. So that is uh, the first time you would get a fire gem in the game if you didn't take it as a starting gift. <sighs> that was quite a performance. But you mustn't get in over your head. We unkindled must put our duties first. But... For the moment, we have a toast to make. Yeah, it really does make sense that he would be a Valor, son. So we got the Siegbräu. And our victory together. Long may... <laughs> and we get the best emote from him. The toast! Well, I'm going to have myself a little nap. A little nap, yeah. The only thing to do, really, after a nice toast. <laughs> Okay. And he's taking a nap. Okay, fine. So, uh, now we have the Zeke boy. Uh, but where is it, though? There it is. A special brew of Zeekward of Katarina. Perfect for travel in its jolly barrel mark. Restores HP and temporarily boosts frost resistance. Leave it to Zeekward to discover a drink that even an undead can enjoy. Perhaps his long years spent undead have left him waiting to drain a cup or two and revel as if he were still among the living. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sleep. Emote. I think this is it. Yeah, that can happen. Um, I think just a single hit in combat doesn't do it, but you, if you do a certain amount of damage or so. So uh, that is where I why I was a little bit cautious there as well. So now we can... Uh, explore this little area, which is beautiful, I guess. I mean, you can call it beautiful for some, if it's your taste. It's a nice little way. Sound, yeah, that sounds like something on would do. It happens very easily. Um, uh, we'll, I need my trusty bow here again to shoot down some items. There we go. The large club. It's a disco. Where it is. A uh, large wooden club requires considerable strength to wield. Uh, characterized by savage leaping attacks, its weight makes it easier to break the guard of shields. So very straight up strength weapon. Ah. The invisible wall. Isn't that beautiful? You can do it. There we go. A pale tongue, that is another covenant item. 
Proof of a red orb invaders victory over a host of embers. Claiming tongues as trophies was originally the practice of an infamous troop of invaders who offered them to their speechless goddess. Wonder if we find out more about them. Then we have the... This is a pretty cool armor set, or at least a pretty cool looking armor set. Iron Helm of Stalwart Northern Warrior, engraved with an ornate pattern. Iron def uh, Defensive Wear grants superior ability. Being from the north, it should also offer resistance to cold. Uh, Iron Armor of a Stalwart Northern Warrior, supported by interwoven chainmail. Iron Defensive Wear grants superior absorption. Being from the north, it should also offer protection. Glass of the Stalwart Northern Warriors, made of thick leather. Blunt strikes providing good resistance against cold, and trousers of soul wall northern warrior, thick leather boots lined with fur. Very cool armor set, but pretty heavy, if I remember. Uh, there we go. Yeah, it's very heavy, but it looks very, very nice. Really like it. The tattered red cape. Maybe we can, maybe we can make it work. Doing some fashion souls here. That's a little... Could wear that, that looks even more stupid. That's... that's a look, I guess. Maybe not that. We could use the standard Harold Helm. And then... The loincloth? No. That wouldn't even be enough. Oh, but I have also the bow right now. Oh, so maybe... Ah, that actually works. Look at that. That looks pretty nice. Yeah, it looks like a ragged old soldier. I like it. So... Let's look this way. Something here. I don't quite remember. Uh, for, for me, at least. Uh, if I get over 70%, uh, then I have the slowest roll. And... Um, Come on. Red bug pellet. Um, where is it? Medi uh, medicinal pellet made from crushed insects. The red type temporarily boosts fire damage absorption. So, oh, there was something additional. Uh, prepared at the Cathedral of the Deep by evangelists who dole them out to followers to ease their suffering when they burn. And evangelists are those uh, fat ladies who want to fire hug you. Those are called evangelists. So they are uh, dishing out these um, bug pellets to all the poor souls here to ease their suffering while they burn. Nice little ambush. Up. Some more alluring skulls. Oh, you meant uh, the church outfit. Yeah, that looks uh, looks something. It's it's something. It's hard to describe it otherwise. We have this one. Then we have a doggo here. Come here, doggo. Come here, doggo. Come. Be a good boy. Thank you. So this is a bit of a tricky, tricky spot. Uh, 
That is why I like having some fireballs around at all times. I think there's one more. Fading soul. No mimic. Human pine resin. That one is new, I think. No, that is... Where's human pine resin? Did I misread? Was it... Oh, it's the char charcoal. Pine. Oh, did I read it? I'm actually not sure. Charcoal pine resin rotten with human blood uh, fluids. Temporarily applies dark to the right hand. Normally used in the undead settlement for preservation and burials, but can mature into this state, becoming a valuable substance used in a certain ceremony. Often seen for trade at exorbitant prices. I didn't read that. This is a little bit of a tricky spot here. Again. Um... Finding two of these guys. Oh boy. Okay, there is. Oh boy. Dark Souls panic roll. Okay. Come here, my lady. Oh, there was a pillar. She got me there. Got her. Oof. And uh, the reason why I know that these are called evangelists, by the way, is because um, the armor tells us that if we manage to get it dropped. Oof. That's awkward. <laughs> okay. Let's do a little healing. And move forward. Got a little bit dicey there for a second, but eventually it all worked out fine. Intense staring contest, yes. I won. So now here we are uh, all the way at the top and um, we have a good look at all the areas I went through today and we have Flynn's ring. A ring that was pretty overpowered I think in Dark Souls 2 but isn't really worth putting on this one. Uh, ring of Flynn the eulogized Thief, lowering a quip load, increases attack power. Flynn fought with the wind on his side and was a hero amongst the weak and poor, yet even his admirers knew that it was little more than an idyllic fable. So it says that you get more, you, that you do more damage basically the less you wear. But even if you fight fully naked with no protection, um, you might get an STD, but also you uh, do barely more damage. Like, it really isn't worth uh, giving up the protection over. So, now we're here. And here we have another Homeward Bone. Uh, and this can be tricky. I don't have much HP, so let's play it safe. Not a fun combo, I agree. So here we have Mira Vest. That's a, also a very cool armor set from Dark Souls 2. Uh, no helmet for it, but we have the Mira Vest. Uh, Garb worn by Mira Knights. Sent on journeys, this hard leather vest is bestowed only upon proven knights. Knights travel far for to fulfill their sacred duties, but uh, few are ever able to deliver on their vows. 
Mirror gloves. Uh, garb worn by Mirror Knight. Sent on journeys. Uh, these soft deer skin gloves are bestowed uh, only upon proven knights. Fulfill their duties. That's the same. Uh, the trousers. Okay. Deer skin trousers. Proven knights. Okay. So. Um, let's show you that one. It's way lighter and has still good protection. Uh, and it looks quite fancy. Which I always appreciate. But since we now have lighter armor, might put on some better pants. Okay, I couldn't, could put on anything I want. The northerners, maybe? Does that look good? That looks... I mean, the boots are kind of weird, but... Boots are kind of weird. What about the Herald Trousers? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And the Mirror Gloves. I don't know why I always jump into this menu. Okay. Too... Heavy. Okay. That's fine. But that is pretty fresh looking. Miro's Garb. Yes. Uh, we're now a Miro's Hero. And I will take my break soon-ish. Because uh, we now uh, went all the way around here, which was my goal. And from here, I just will go back to the Shrine Bonfire. Because now we have enough souls to get the Tower Key. Looks spiffy, yeah. So. Ah, well met, Ashen One. How may I be of service? Uh, give me the tower key, please. Um, okay. I think for now that's it. Ashen and uh, we uh, have our ah, miracle of need. Uh, trainer there. We will check that out in a second. I need one more Titanite shard. Pretty be careful. Okay. But she is on this side. Merchant ahead. True. Oh, champion of Ash. Welcome back. I was not meant to be a firekeeper. But I am honored oh, to serve uh, beside the bonfire. I think you have to buy it, Koala. The gods I think are you have to. My gratitude I at least can't them, think of another way. Of you. I am yours now. Your wish is my command. Let's talk to her first. No, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. I would be pleased to share the tales of miracles with you. But to be fair, later 20,000 souls I isn't much. So, you can do it later. There's if nothing too important tone, up there. I could tell you many tales and Good night, Mirka. Thank you for uh, uh, stopping by. Oh, Hope you have a wonderful night. Only I cannot see. Terribly sorry. But you'll have to find me a divine tome in Braille. Okay. You know, in my home of Karim, I was a nun. I would be pleased That's none to of your business. tales of miracles with you. Although, to be honest, I only know a few. But if I had a divine tome, I could tell you many tales and more. Oh, terribly. Yeah. So we give, uh, have to give her divine tomes in Braille um, so she can read them. And then she has more uh, healings. Very easy. Um, she has the Homeward Miracle, which is pretty cool. Um, it is... Just a uh, homeward bone, just as a miracle. And the Saint's Ring allows attunement of additional spells. That is actually very useful. That is, uh, I will take Have that ring. Which just means now, um, so it means currently I have one attunement slot. And this attunement slot is based on, ooh, is it based on intelligence here or on faith? 
I'm not sure how it works in... Oh, no, on attunement. Uh, on the attunement stat. So, um, if I level it up, I get more attunement slots. Or I can just equip this uh, ring and that will give me an additional slot. So now I have two. And if I pop a few souls or just one, just use this one. Oh, I can buy the homeward miracle. Which is useful. I pray for and at the bonfire I can then uh, equip that. And then I don't have to use any homeward bones anymore. It's just handy. So th also shows you how the how the whole um, attunement and selecting spells work. And some spells take two slots, uh, the strongest spells, but now this is attuned. Also, I should have a look at them. A uh, miracle uh, taught to traveling clerics. Returns castle to the last bonfire used for resting or to the bonfire in the shrine. It would normally link the to one's homeland, only the curse of the undead has twisted its power, redirecting castles to a bonfire. Perhaps for undead, the bonfire serves as home. I got the Chloranthi ring? Where, right, but where did I get him? Get that one again. And why didn't I read it? That's a really good ring. Uh, one of the best rings in the game. This old ring is named for its decorative green blossom, but its luster is long since faded. Raises stamina recovery speed. So, basically, just boosts your stamina recovery. Very, very good. Over where the mirror armor was, right. I overlooked that. Thank you for reminding me. Both that I have it and that I can read it out. So, let's see if anything new is here. There should be. Yes, this guy is back. Well, hasn't it been some time? I'm Leonard, the ring finger. The middle finger. Remember me? I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. Uh-huh. You're making quite an I really like his outfit. Um, like um, that is the outfit I wore in the end game. A red eye orb, one that is uncracked. Because it looks pretty cool. Then kill the dark it looks also very bloodborne. Swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all. And it has decent stats. Lift chamber I can see key. It in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> If you fancy a proper red eye orb, one uncracked, untainted, then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the land swallowed by darkness. A Dark Wraith? He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> so he promised us a, a full red eye orb um, that would be a... Um, with which we can invade over and over again. Um, I th I'm not sure. I think you, um, you, he might drop it if you kill Le Leonard, but it's also part of Leonard's um, quest line and uh, another quest line of a different uh, NPC. So I'm not sure. Um, there, I think I'm, I think if you just kill him, you might get the gear, but maybe not the complete gear. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Um, it's been a while. We will find out. I will try to get it. If you fancy a proper rent, yes, I can. But now, before we take a break, let's check out the tower. Because it is indeed the tower right outside. The, the cool thing about uh, Dark Souls 3, which I really appreciated in terms of the quest, is, and that's a big difference to Dark Souls 1, because in Dark Souls 1, when you um, talk to people and then you trigger an event, and if you do it the wrong order, or uh, if you do something wrong, 
that quest is dead for the for your playthrough. In Dark Souls 3, that is not the case. You can always uh, do these quests if you um, follow the order. Um, so they are always active, and you can even do them uh, after you uh, basically beat the game. Um, you, for example, I uh, since I didn't know how uh, most of them went uh, and worked, what I did was I... Uh, after I finished the game, I looked up the quest lines, and then um, I could just track back um, what I had to do and uh, get all the quest items. So here we can kick down the ladder, which now officially puts us up here. So um, if you don't do the jump from the tree, this is the way on how you get to the crow and on this upper level. So you need 20,000 souls in order to do that. Or you just try a little bit around with your jumping skills. Uh, that's a nice feature. I don't like it when games cut you off from quests that are generally hard to find to begin with. Yeah, I mean, I can see the point why they did it, because it also offers a lot of replayability, because there are still some quest lines in Dark Souls 1 that I haven't completely... Um, finish till the end just because uh, I always forget then one step and then the whole quest line is messed up. But at the same time, it's also pretty frustrating. So that's that. So we have a Firekeeper Soul. So what is that about? And it's a key. Soul of a firekeeper who is said to have returned from the abyss. This firekeeper preserved the bonfire and served its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil which she which has tainted her soul, and yet her soul will one day embed itself in the bosom of another of another firekeeper. So we can give this uh, firekeeper's soul to the firekeeper. We won't do that right now, though. Yeah, Grey Rats, you can't... Uh, Grey Rats is one quest that uh, you can mess up very easily, and that is um, permanent. But we will get to that. I hope I get it to the end. Oof. There. Here are some difficult, difficult jumps, so I may die here a few times. So I remembered that here the best way is just to roll. Come on. There we go. Firekeeper rope and firekeeper gloves and firekeeper skirt. Let's have a look at that. Um, rope worn by the guardian of the shrine. The firekeepers were robbed of light to better serve a vessel for souls. Only those who cherish the writhing, searing darkness were giving uh, the keepers black attire. Um, think there. And chat is won by the guardians of the light. The fighters were robbed of light. Okay, that is the same. Uh, vessel for souls. Yeah, same text. Okay. Yeah, I get that insanity, yeah. Okay. And then we have the Estes Ring. A green ring crafted from shards uh, increase, increases HP restored by Estes Flask. This ring was entrusted to a certain firekeeper, but in the end she never met her champion, and the ensuing tragic farce became a favorite tale of the masses. Interesting. Um, so, also a very good ring. Just boosts your Estus Flux, heals, so your Estus heals you more. And that also then brings you out on the other side where uh, the Diaper Samurai was. Uh, 
Okay. So, before I venture out, again, I will take a very short break. I will be back in just a couple of minutes. Won't be too long. Uh, grabbing something to drink. Uh, you may do the same. Grab something to drink, maybe a snack. And I hope that you then... Stay with me for more Dark Souls uh, 3. We venture through the tower that we went up. Uh, we will uh, pick up the items at the graveyard that was uh, formerly shot on by the uh, giant. We will pick up, uh, we will fight the Dark Wraith that was mentioned and uh, hopefully make some progress. So I'll be uh, back just in a couple of minutes. Um, stay with me and see you in a couple of minutes.